guys, let's talk about why Modern Masters has to be good. And the reason it has to be good, or why do you feel like Modern Masters should be good? Should it be really good? Should it be just good? Should it be good, as good as Modern Masters 1? I'm going to go ahead and say Modern Masters will be better than Modern, Modern Masters 2015 will have more value than Modern Masters 1 and be printed more. So leave in a comment below if you agree with me or disagree with me or what your opinion is. So, Modern Masters 2015 is $10 a pack, but we know that it doesn't cost that much to print. Um, it is three times the actual value of a regular pack, but that's $10, and we'll talk about this in another video, does not include the markup most stores are going to charge you, that online is going to charge you. $10 a pack could easily be 15 depending on what's in the pack, right, and how much is printed. But let's just assume that everything goes correctly and it's $10 a pack, so it's $30 a draft. And at least in my locals, when we were drafting Modern Masters in the few places that did do, do the drafts, the price payout was almost non-existent, right? Um, I mean, the price payout would be in Modern Masters packs, but they're so valuable that there's actually, they would rather give you store credit, um, less score, store credit, right? Than the actual packs. So it's very interesting, but Modern Masters 2015, a set that should be better, in my opinion, than the Modern Masters 1 because the price point is $10 a pack. $10 a pack means that, wow, I mean, that's a very expensive pack, especially when you're competing against this pack. This pack has fetch lines, right? And you get two and a half of these packs. Wait, do you get more? Well, depending, let's say you buy this pack for $2.50, which is very reasonable for a box. Like a box can go for 80 bucks. Let's say, yeah, $2.50. Um, and you buy these packs, and you can get 10 of these, you can get four of these packs of one Modern Masters, assuming it's at retail. Uh, but let's make the assumption that it's $15 a pack and that your store is overcharging you. Then you have six packs. You have six packs of this versus one pack of Modern Masters 2015. Remember, out of six packs, you probably are going to guarantee like a fetch land or uh, I mean, you're guaranteed something good. It cannot be crap. It just cannot be crap out of six packs from this particular set. And now you open one pack of that card. And if you're getting like I think there was an Auric Salvager or something that's worth like 50 cents or any of the casual. Let's say you get a Mythic Dragon and you're like, okay, this is cool, this is a dollar. People are not going to buy that pack. Very, because why would I buy that pack when I can get six of these packs or four of these packs? And I know that these packs have fetch lands. I don't know. Like, unless something really, really good is in or the value is more spread. The danger of Modern Masters 1 was, yeah, there's Tommy Wolf in this pack, but there's also a lot of crap. Like, a lot of crap. Even in Mythic, there was a lot of crap. So even if you would buy a box, you're not guaranteed a Confidant or a Tommy Wolf. You're not guaranteed any of that stuff, because you could get five Dragon Mythics as your Mythics in that pack. And that box. And then boxes, my gosh, they're going to be expensive. That's why Modern Masters... 2015 has to be epic because it's competing against something that's already very epic and it's already extremely cheap and it's been printed in it's this particular set is going to be printed into the ground so two dollars and fifty cents a pack is i think that's doable i feel like these boxes were like under thirty dollars so let's say a fat pack under thirty dollars you get nine packs um yeah i think they were 27 dollars these are like three dollars a pack but then you get the box and stuff like that so $2.50 um, means like an $80 box, definitely doable. So Modern Masters 2015 has to bring it or it won't sell. Not when you have these babies. Bye guys.